you're yeah. a school teacher, a maths teacher, who had, over the last short period of time has become a celebrity. How did you manage that, Eddie? Look, I think I'm as surprised as anyone else, to be honest. In the old days, maths, and I'll probably even now in other classrooms, maths is not perceived to be fun. Mm. When did you decide that you can make maths fun? I knew fairly early on that I wanted to be a high school teacher, mm. but as to what subject I was going to teach, that was really quite up to question. Mm. Uh, English and history were things I enjoyed very much at school, and yeah. so I gravitated towards those. But when I reached university, I discovered that there's this huge critical shortage, which was true then and is true now in mathematics education. So I somewhat jumped in, unsure of how deep the pool was that mm. I was getting into. And I used to be a school teacher as well. One thing I also learned, you know, the saying goes in the media, you're in sales. You are selling <laughs> something to an audience that's not all that initially very interested. I remember my school audiences, you really had to work hard to get them on side. Well, I heard someone compare once mathematics teachers to people who are selling a product mm. that people are don't want to buy yeah. but are required by law to pay for <laughs> and so for me you know it's a great joy to be able to say look here's something which you don't miss maybe have a great expectation yeah. about this being a wonderful thing but actually there's a reason we make it part of your curriculum so eddie is it true that they're changing the way maths is being taught in new south wales as a consequence of your success Look, I'd probably say the, the most simplest direct answer to that is no. no. Because in some ways, you know, uh, I've been given this new uh, very flowery title, uh, which is the leader of innovative practice in mathematics, which is okay. very kind. Great time. But to be honest, the, uh, the thing that I feel I'm, I'm most getting across is not innovation so much as rediscovering ancient techniques that are making sense of what children don't understand, struggle with, understanding that there's a story and that there's a personal side to mathematics. Mathematics is for everyone. Yeah. I know that a lot of people, and including myself when I was younger, felt like mathematics is something that's for, for special people. You've yeah. got a gift with numbers. You can see patterns. You can just do a multiplication, a huge numbers just like that. All right, one, one wild and wacky question, which comes from a little bit of Science, I guess. There's a, a book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Mm. Have you ever read it? I do know Malcolm Gladwell and Have I know you? his book, yes. Okay. He argued, well, he would maybe just carry someone else's um, cockamamie theory, that in the south of China, because of the 24-7 the, the working in the rice mm. paddy, mm. that there is this great work ethic. But mm. in the north, they just plant the wheat and they're lazy and they <laughs> wait for the wheat to grow. What did you think when you came across that well, unusual look, theory? Uh, Sweeping generalizations to one side, <laughs> especially being someone who was born in Australia. I, I think that there there is something that is true there in that mathematics is a practical subject. It's yeah. just like music or a sport in that you gain skill in it by doing it. Something that I see all the time as, as a parent myself and parents I interact with, that there are often two sorts of attitudes when you come toward a, a subject or even a sport or an extracurricular activity. Yeah. People say, oh, look, just, just go in through them, try them out, and find the one that finally you enjoy, that you're really good at, you have a natural flair for. Yeah. And then there's another approach, which is to say, well, look, of course you're not going to be very good at basketball when you start. Keep going. 10,000 hours to mastery is what they say. And so that's a very different tack. Yeah, you're, you're pretty awful at the moment. You're slow, you're uncoordinated, but persist, yeah. and we might actually develop some skill. And when, when you get to talk to a, a young person who's struggling with maths, and you're starting to see that they're you're starting to enjoy what you're doing. Mm. Is, it, is it easy to, to tell that story to them? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, one of the most important quotes to me as a mathematician is that mathematicians are not people who find mathematics easy. Mm. They're the ones who enjoy how hard it is. Mm. And any professional athlete can, you know, identify with that, that, you know, it's just, it's immense. It's blood, sweat and tears. But in fact, leaning into that and persevering through it is what makes an athlete and mm. it's what makes a mathematician. I hate to say this, Eddie, but I think you're going to grow into a very exceptional old person. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Switzer. It's a pleasure, Peter. Thank you so much.